Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today. Today we're going to be looking at my top 5 emulators that you guys can use uh, to play these mobile games on uh, your PC. Uh, and uh, as you guys know, we're all sitting in quarantine these days and we maybe want to use my computer to play uh, World of Kings or Order and Chaos or you know any a game on mobile that you other guys play. Uh, but you want to be playing on the high graphics and smooth gameplay and no lag. So you want to play on your PC. So we'll go through the 5 emulators that you guys can use to play on your PC and have a good experience. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys follow my socials below. You can ask me uh, about any games you guys want me to see, uh, you guys want to see me play, or uh, just ask me questions or anything on my socials. I really appreciate that. Now let's get right into it. Now emulators, if you guys don't know what an emulator is, is a way that you can play mobile games on your PC. Uh, so let's say, uh, you like to have your PC, uh, you like to play on your tablet when you're not at home, but you like to play on your PC when you get at home. So you want to keep playing it, so you can use the PC to basically play the game you're playing on your mobile device. Uh, emulator is also good, like for me, I like to make content for you guys, so uh, I want to have make sure that I have the best frames, the best graphics and everything, and a smooth gameplay, uh, and I can play from home, and I know you guys want to watch my mobile gameplay, so I use emulators to play games basically. Uh, on the PC instead of the mobile so I can give, give you guys the best uh, best viewer experience now there's a lot of different emulators um, the way they work is basically you download them they're completely safe uh, and then you can use that to either search through the Play Store you can go to like the browser or you can go to Play Store right here and you click the game you want or games you want to see or you want to play you can download them to the emulator and you can play from there and the uh, game will think that you're playing from a mobile device. Uh, you can also get APK Pures, basically uh, you can download APKs from uh, the internet. Uh, if there's games that are not released yet, that's how I play those games, like for example this here. I have, you guys can see my cursor, but it's like the middle one on the left side. Uh, it's World of Kings basically, but it is the Chinese version which is not out on the Play Store. And down the APK and uh, I have VPN down here so I can pretend that I'm in China. And that way I can play that game that is not released yet. So that's a way that you guys can play games that are not released on the market yet. So basically, first of all, we're going to start with Mumu App Play. Also I have Roblox here, ignore that guys. Okay, I don't play Roblox, okay. Okay, <laughs> but let's get into it. First of all, on the top five list, number five is Mumu App Player. Now, Mumu App Player was pro uh, probably the first emulator that I first got into. It was really good for World of Kings when it first started, when it first came out. It really ran really smooth, probably ran the best out of all emulators, was you no know, good frames, uh, no stutters, no lag or anything. But after a while, it started lagging, it started having issues. And right now, I wouldn't say, like I would put it on rank five, it's still a good emulator to use. But some games that require a lot of high performance, the Mumu player might make it lag or uh, uh, have issues basically while playing the game. I was getting so many stutters, you guys can probably see it with some of my World of King videos where it just stops completely and freezes. So uh, Mumu player number 5, uh, good. It's a good emulator, a uh, decent one, and it's easy to use. Uh, and uh, if you guys like wondering about like keyboard and stuff, it has all kind of keys. If you click here, you can customize your own keyboard, you can make a new plan, and then uh, you can click. You, it's really like nice to use because some emulators, right, they already have set keys. But here you can like put whichever key you want here. You can maybe use maybe use E and maybe there's a skill here you want to have but F you can use it really easy to customize uh, and then you can just save your different plans for your different games you can name them you can name them like I want to name this Dragon Raja so you have this keyboard for Dragon Raja and different key keys for the uh, something else really easy to use um, good emulator Mumu emulator made by Netties uh, I will have all the links in the description if you want to check it out now let's go to the next one. Now the next one uh, is probably a lot of people know about this one. It's called Nox Emulator. Now Nox Emulator is probably like one of the oldest emulators, if I'm not wrong. Uh, Nox is really good. Uh, it's been out for a long time. They're doing. They're making good updates on it. Uh, it looks really clean, really smooth to use. I use uh, Nox for Dragon Raja mainly when I play Dragon Raja. Uh, and if I have to play like new games to check them out, like Eternal Sword Mobile, you can't see it's right behind here, and Black Desert Mobile, I use it for all those three different games. Uh, really nice, really smooth to use. 
uh, it has the nice thing about Knox emulator uh, and the most of the emulators I'm going to be talking about is if you click on the settings and some games are not compatible with some different uh, mobile uh, phones but here you can change your mobile phone you can customize your own mobile uh, phone uh, here and then uh, you can put the one that it is it can work on like let's say a game says you can only play this on these kind of phones and not the lower phones you can change it so that this you can play the game with the Nox emulator the also thing is it can also go up to 120 fps on games so you can uh, run like really smooth if you have a good computer you can run super smooth frames on these games uh, and again it has a good key set uh, that you can like use keys a little bigger than uh, Mumu it takes more space but you can do the same thing and you can enter the different keys that you want to use uh, for them uh, so let's go to the next one so Knox emulator I'll put it on rank 4 as an emulator to use uh, now let's get into the next one uh, which is the next one yeah so the next one is one I haven't used much I used a little bit of it it's called the LD player uh, this was a lot of people prefer this for uh, for uh, World of Kings oh my god my face looks so bright but rank 3 I will put LD player LD player is really good uh, also, uh, I haven't used it much, but it's really smooth, good frames, uh, was the most preferred player uh, emulator for World of Kings uh, in the end. So if you guys are playing World of Kings, definitely check it out. And it can also run like a lot games really smooth. It's really nice to use, it. like you don't have any lag issues or anything uh, with this emulator, which is super nice. Uh, they have, this one also has like high frames that you can put on 120 FPS and run the game really smooth. Uh, let's see here, where is it? advanced does it not mobile customize thought it did maybe it doesn't i'm pretty sure it has yeah, here it is set up to high frame rate 90 to 120 fps so you can put it on 120 fps too and run the game really smoothly on that but you can't customize like Knox, unfortunately but it, i feel like i in my opinion it runs better than Knox, so that's why i didn't put a Knox above this because Knox you can customize exactly the frames you want but here you can only choose between 90, 60 90 or 120 fps uh, but it's really nice to use, really easy to navigate as you can see, you can look on the recommended pad and just download whatever you want um, and so on. So that is LD player at number three. Now let's go to number two. Now number two, a lot of people don't know about number two. Uh, number two is actually Mimu app player. Now Mimu app player I've been using a lot. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here, Mimu App Player, I've been using a lot uh, for a lot of games. It's really smooth, and a lot of people like when I they ask me and I tell them I'm using Mimu, they think I'm using Mumu because Mumu and Mimu they have about the same name. But Mimu App Player is actually super nice to use. Nobody, a lot of people don't know about it. It's really smooth. Uh, doesn't lag at all. Um, I, if I try like new games, I like to use Mimu also. Uh, like super easy like yeah, everything google apps the menu everything is super uh straightforward it has all the fps settings 120 fps settings uh and but the only issue with this is that there's some games uh sometimes that i can't run with Mimu app player that's the only negative thing about it uh some games are like yeah we don't recognize this phone and so on and uh but if there is a game that I can play on Mimu, I would prefer to play it on Mimu because of the smoothness of it uh, and how well it runs. Uh, it has like good interface, uh, good settings, uh, and uh, a lot. Of, uh, I know my friends use this for uh, uh, what you call it. And my friends were using this for uh, uh, World of Kings, and it ran super nice, super smooth. Uh, you can have like you put your joystick wherever you want. You put your keys. And you customize it really straightforward. You can use Crosshair too for like FPS, uh, first person shooter games, and so on. So, uh, Mimu uh, player, really good to use. I uh, super smooth, uh, highly recommended. You can also have like standard mode, mobile mode, and like def like it can customize in all different ways. So, Mimu, I would put on second place of all the games in my opinion and now let's go to number one you guys probably already know which one it is it is a blue stacks now why would i put blue stacks on a number one now blue stacks is probably uh the best emulator out there it has so much customizations that you can do on this let's get right into them 
uh, uh, again, you know, the interface is nice. Everything looks good. Uh, they have, they're probably the ones making the most money. They have so many ads and so much that they're probably making banks so they can deliver you guys a super nice emulator. Uh, BlueStacks, basically, you can customize keys as you want. The uh, settings are super good here. Now, this is the only emulator that I know about that can actually, so they use NVIDIA uh, settings. If you have NVIDIA on your, and you have a good, GPU you can use NVIDIA as you guys can see I have an RTX 2060 so I can use this computer graphics and get super nice graphics on uh, BlueStacks uh, you can change the DirectX OpenGL uh, and you can actually run this on 240 FPS so I have 240 FPS monitor so I can pop this up to 240 FPS and run it some games on the high quality it runs usually run every game uh, you can run through um, blue stacks they have all these different uh, option in the settings uh, that you can use uh, to change like your mobile device if they don't recognize it and so on so these are my top five emulators of to th okay, for, of 2020 uh, they're all good to use uh, all helpful so if you guys are at home and you want to play games on your uh, uh, PC you can play it I can actually show you guys how it basically works I think I did in a start but you go to one of the links in the comments you just Google blue stacks uh, or any other emulator uh, let's say you want to play a game uh, from the play store you just click in you sign in oh sorry i haven't signed in on this one you sign in you click the game you want and it will download the game for you once the game is downloaded, you just click it you log in with whatever you so you it's more turn that you log in with the account you use on your mobile device so you can play it on your characters if you guys have uh, different characters the only also nice thing about it is like early access of games let's say you only own a tablet you only own a, a i i mean a, an ipad or an iphone or an apple device right most early access of games happen on Android. So what you can do if you have a PC, uh, you have a PC and you don't have an Android uh, device, you can use a uh, PC to play like early access games that just release on Android first. Because most of the games that come out firstly release on Android devices. So if you want to check out new games and so on, uh, get your uh, PC on, download the emulator, and you can play the game on uh, the emulator. And if you're like like me, like I like to play on my tablet sometimes when I'm like chilling, um, I'm away from home or something. And then when I get home, I like to play on my PC. So then I can use both of the devices to play if I'm away from home and when I play at home. So uh, super convenient, uh, super easy to use. Uh, check them out if you guys agree or if you guys like this kind of video, make sure you like it. And subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye